A 35-year-old man is under arrest in Juneau, Alaska today after allegedly stabbing three people on board a Norwegian cruise ship. Plus, MSC Cruise Line is in some hot water up in New York as their ship, the Miravilia, arrived in port, ragging a dead whale. Let's roll the intro. Welcome to the Midships channel. It's your Captain Corey, and thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. Let's get things kicked off with a question of the day. Question, what do you think the best cruise line is for parents with children? Let me know your answer in the comments down below. We don't talk about that all that much on the channel because well, I don't have kids. I'm not really an expert in that, but if you are, let me know, share your knowledge. That's what we're doing here. Now let's take the cruise news over to Juneau, Alaska, where some crazy things are coming out from on board the Norwegian Encore, a cruise ship, which is of course owned by Norwegian Cruise Line. Now it's alleged that a 35 year old South African crew member on board the Encore went crazy and was stabbing people on board the ship. You can't make this stuff up. The ship had left from Seattle, Washington and was en route for its typical, usually a seven night sailing up in Alaska. When in the waters of Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, crew members spotted one man trying to frantically lower a lifeboat off of the Norwegian Encore. That's when they interjected and said, what's going on? Only to determine that this was a crew member from Norwegian's and when they found that out, they took the crew member down to the medical facility for further assessment. Well, when they got down to the medical center, that is when the situation turned from strange to downright terrifying. That is when this individual began stabbing people, began stabbing crew members. He first began by stabbing a female crew member who was attending to him medically, allegedly grabbing a pair of scissors in the examination room and stabbing this unidentified woman multiple times in the arm, in the hand, and in the face. Following this initial assault, he then ran to another exam room and began stabbing a 75-year-old passenger who was there for medical assessment several times in her arm, hand, and face as well. This is an American citizen who was cruising on board the Encore. It's at this point when two ship security officers intervened and they themselves were also injured. One was stabbed in the head and one stabbed in the back multiple times. It's kind of hard to even imagine this happening. What would have been going through the mind of this South African crew member? The man was eventually detained and held in the ship's brig in the onboard jail until he was placed under arrest by authorities up in Juneau, Alaska. He's being charged with assault with a dangerous weapon. There's multiple charges because he was in territorial water, but also it's a maritime charge. He faces a maximum of 10 years in prison and about a $250,000 US dollar fine and fortunately the three crew members who were stabbed with the scissors none of their injuries are considered to be life-threatening at this time they are receiving the medical treatments that they need that they require this is a crazy story y'all and i thought we only had one crazy story today to talk about but we also have a dead whale being dragged into new york city by a cruise ship i'm going to tell you about that as soon as i remind you that the best way to get prepared for your next cruise is by doing a little bit of research and maybe checking out the things I love to take with me every time I cruise. You can do that by following the link in the description down below to the Midships Amazon store. Just browsing does support my work and you'll find some really cool products in there. Link below, thank you for your patience. Now we need to take the cruise news over from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast to Brooklyn, New York. That's where we find the MSC Miravilia, home ported year round now, I believe. The Miravilia had a very strange and very alarming passenger along with her when she sailed into port on Saturday. This of course is a 44 foot endangered sea whale, SEI whale, dead, being dragged across the bow of the cruise ship. Obviously, this was very alarming to maritime authorities in New York City, who swiftly removed the whale from the bow of the Miravilia and relocated the remains down into New Jersey, where they could have better access to perform what's known as necropsy. I believe that's how you say it. It's basically an autopsy for an animal. They're looking to determine if MSC is at cause 
or killing this whale if the Miravilia indeed struck this sea whale and killed it, or if it was already floating there and just happened to be hot up in the cruise ship. Now, this is an endangered species. There's a few endangered species of whales that environmental groups are looking to protect. And look, I don't disagree. You got to save the whales. You got to save the bumblebees. There's a lot of things we got to save. Uh, as humans, it's tough because when humans and animals interact, typically it's the animals that end up suffering. And in this case, MSC has, uh, well, they've got a whale of a problem with PR going on with this incident, especially considering that MSC is one of, in my opinion, the most forward thinking cruise lines when it comes to marine health, marine life. Just look at their private island and what they were able to do with the likes of Ocean K, taking it from a desolate nothing filled with the rusting carcasses of old mining equipment and turning it into the lush, beautiful oasis it is right now. As a matter of fact, I think Ocean K is undergoing a multi hundred million dollar renovation as we record this. So lots of things going on with MSC right now. But unfortunately, the whale of a problem that we just talked about is going on for them today. What do you think about all of this? Are the calls from environmental groups to limit the speed of vessels passing through these areas where whale lives? Are they something that we should consider? I know that this speed reduction is something that you will experience on almost every Alaskan cruise as you make your way through the Straits on the West Coast. Is that something that we may need to consider for cruise ships and cruise companies self-imposing on themselves when cruising out of New York City or up in New England in places where these whales make their habitat? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. It's a great time to get subscribed to the channel. Of course, leave a thumbs up on this video. If you love cruising, thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. And until next time, we'll see you on the midships.